Hello all my YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for joining today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I would like to do a overview of this very old Dell uh, laptop computer, uh, the M70 computer, and the reason why I no longer use it today. It's just so out of date, uh, it's just so old. And I really can find mostly anything uh, for it. It has DR2 RAM, uh, a mechanical 160 gigabyte IED Russian original drive, and it's just really old. And I'm just going to show you the different things about it on why I got into doing the videos I do today. I actually got a faster and more powerful computer than this computer would ever be. Now, here you have your typical screen, Dell logo, a couple of volume up and down switches, your one button, keyboard, mouse, and electric pad and stuff. And of course it has built uh, with Windows XP, but it's the one thing you can probably try Maybe you can try to put Windows 7 on it. It may work. It may not. Do I recommend it? Nah. Don't even waste your time for an older computer like this. And I will do a boot up at the end. And let's go ahead and show you the different uh, functionalities of this older computer. Alright. So first of all, we're going to start out with the front of the computer. Okay. Here you have your left and your right speaker. Uh, very good audio, but not the greatest. Here we have the latch button here for the actual screen to latch on as well. And it's a little worn out, but it's still a working computer today. Sadly, Windows XP is now dead. Uh, Microsoft no longer support uh, Windows XP anymore. We right pan on this lovely side. We have a couple uh, different options. A CD, DVD, drive, recorder, and a idle. And over here, this little latch is what you unlatch this to replace it if you need to. Uh, headphones, microphones, USB 2.0, a Zox fan on this side for the actual video graphics. This does have a separate video graphic called in this computer and on the long back of here we have more ports this is your Azox pan for the video graphics uh, RF uh, thing you know Ethernet, telephone, USB 2 some type of S video and uh, a parallel port a VGA your PAL input this is your CPU fan output for the Azox as well. I thought that was kind of interesting. Let's bring it a little closer for you can kind of see the different ports of this old uh, computer. And not a whole lot on this side. We do have a non Azox fan, Kennedy Lock, a uh, Spanton shot for different things, and that's your hard drive, and a non slot as well. Now, let's go ahead and show you the underneath of the computer. Right, here is the underside of the old Dell computer, if you're curious. This is a fan for the video graphics on this side. We have the docking station, the wireless, and memory slots. And also, this is the processor fan hard drives right here, and also the batteries over here, and a bunch of on little information of stickers. If we turn this little guy on, we do have a full battery uh, indicator light on this old Dell. And don't worry about this little tape here, I just taped that off, but it's okay. That's, uh, XP's gone now. And this battery can come out, you can actually replace it. I charged it last night, and there is the battery. This is a lithium-ion battery from Dell, a pretty expensive 
uh, battery. Now, under this gray cable is a couple on options. We have a CMOS battery, you can also replace that. And also, here this one didn't have Bluetooth capability back in the day, but they actually have the wire where you can actually put a Bluetooth uh, cord in here to make it Bluetooth compatible. And that's underneath the actual battery itself. And there we go. Let's take a look at some more of the specs if you're curious. Let's see. So I built the machine back in the D. Very awesome uh, system. Now, if you are wondering on how to get to the RAM and Wi-Fi, I will show you that as well. Before we do any of uh, removing of the hard drive or uh, access panel to the bottom side of this computer, first of all, we need to take out the battery. Put the battery off to the side. And we're going to use a screwdriver with a low uh, end magnet, just like this. And I actually unloosened uh, these screws just to show you how this actually works. Now, because this system is so old, it still uses the IED style drive. Let's see, that's the drive. This is a, actually an IED drive. All you have to do is just uh, pop this little thing off here without breaking the drive itself or damaging the whole drive. Just be very gently with it. Pull the adapter off, and that's your whole drive. That's where the operating system is stored on. Put that off to the side. And we're going to take this screw uh, through the heel, run screw it. And unscrew this side. And there is your telephone modem, your wireless G, and also a spot for a known stick of DDR to RAM if you want, but sadly this computer can only handle about 2 gigs. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together, and let's go ahead and do the boot up, and show you more of the screen and the keyboard. Before I actually start up the computer, one thing you're going to need, get yourself a cooling fan for this style computer, if anybody has this style computer. This computer really, really gets hot. I don't know why, but it's not supposed to, but it does. But let's go ahead and kind of uh, show you more about this computer. Okay. Let's see if it's going to focus. There is the uh, Intel chip uh, processor and the badge of operating system, what's inside of this old computer. And a very, very nice laid out keyboard. I really, truly like it a lot. Let's go ahead. You can see there's the name of the computer. And there is the company who made all. And just showing you the different keys. Very, very nice laid out for this old uh, computer. And of course, everything still seems stuck. Alright, I know you've been patient. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it does. Now this is no longer connected to the internet. I turned the internet off because of a couple uh, issues uh, with this computer because I'm not going to be able to get the updates and the software and the security keys. Now I'm going to let this fully boot and it will come right back. Alright, 
There is the actual desktop of the old Windows XP uh, computer. This is no longer going to be used by anybody. It's just going to be retired, like all of my older computers attempt to be uh, retired over a certain type of age. But I actually did turn the internet off of this old computer because it's no point of connecting this to the internet without any type of updates and stuff from uh, Windows itself. Sadly, for all you Windows XP levels, well, this is the end of these older uh, computers. Now, the one thing I would like to try to do is to change the operating system from Windows XP to maybe install Windows 7. But sadly, that is the next operating system is going to die in the next couple uh, days, or next couple years actually. But there you go, I'm going to actually show you the specs of this computer, and what it can do and what it cannot do. This is a computer I used to edit uh, on, but I no longer use it. I have a better computer. This computer uh, back in the day was a very awesome system back uh, from 2005. But let's go ahead and get you out the trackpad and show you the actual spec. Show you the specs of this uh, old computer. Shall we? If it's going to focus. There is what the specs of this old Windows XP computer as in stock. There's the 2 gigabytes max capacity of RAM this old computer can actually go up to. Sadly, it's no more RAM you can put into this old computer, actually. Mm, oh well. Full old retired computer. But yes, this computer no longer being used by anybody of my family. But it's safe for right now. I'm going to try to do the best I can to keep this old computer running but it's not going to be any type of editing machine because it's just so freaking slow and there's all the different little icons that's about it well there is my final review of this old Dell computer it has showed me well in the past of doing videos Sadly, this computer can still be used today, but the sad news is Windows XP is now dead. The only thing I can try is maybe a different OS or anything, but I'm not going to try to put uh, Windows 10 on this old girl. It's just not going to work. But Windows 7 might. That's all I can probably try to do, but I ain't going to bother with that either. Alright, this is my thoughts and opinions about Windows XP. Computers are just too old to do anything with. Sadly, I turned it off on the internet, but you know, that's the only way to protect your old uh, computers. It's no longer having them connected to the internet. Except for you can put any type of spyware or program scan and stuff to help to protect your computer as well. Alright, if you guys are going new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye guys and girls. Hopefully see you in the next vlog. I do apologize for a very long video of a review of this old computer. Love all ya. Peace out.